All right, let's talk about what is web proxy. In essence, a web proxy is still a website. It's just like any website you see on internet, like YouTube.com or Facebook.com. So it's a website. But it is a very special website because it is a middleman between your browser and the site you want to visit. How to understand that? Uh, let's say you want to visit Facebook.com. So normally what you do is you just type www.facebook.com in your browser and you see the page. However, there are many places you may not have that luxuries. For example, in your workplace or in your school or some countries you visit. Well, if you try to do it, you may see some message like this website is prohibited because some rules. But what if you really want to use Facebook.com? What can you do? The simplest way is to visit a web proxy first and ask it to retrieve the web pages for you. Let me give you a quick demo here. Okay, let's say you still want to visit Facebook.com. What you can do is you can go to www.proxy.org first. This is uh, like the biggest proxy listing site. It has tons of web proxies there. Uh, so there's a list. Uh, let's use any one of them. Let's pick up the first one, SSL on blog.com. Click it. So this is a web proxy. So what you can do is you can scroll down and you will find a form here. So this allows you to type the URL of the website you want to visit. In this case, it's um, uh, www.facebook.com. All right, so let's click the unblock button. All right, so we see the Facebook page here. So what it does is it takes the URL you type and retrieve the web pages from that website. So in this case, it's facebook.com. Let me give you another example here. Let's say you want to visit HTTP, uh, let's say the youtube.com, youtube.com. Excellent. See, that's the page it retrieves from youtube.com. So if you cannot directly visit some websites because your internet provider blocks them, you can go to a web proxy site first and ask it to retrieve the pages for you. Alright, so that's a quick introduction of web proxy.